what happened to Remus Lupin after the death of the Potters. With Sirius Black incarcerated for the murder of 12 people and Peter Pettigrew, and both Lily and James Potter dead also, Remus Lupin remained the last of the Marauders. But what happened to Lupin afterwards? Where did he go? And what was his mindset? Even before these traumatic events, Sirius began to distrust Remus, thinking he could possibly be a spy for Voldemort. Remus was partially aware of his friend's mistrust in him, which did affect him, but he did not voice his opinion on the matter. Remus was actually up in the north of England on order of the Phoenix business when the Potters were killed, Pettigrew killed, or so it was led to believe, and Sirius sent to Azkaban. Remus Lupin's life then took a turn for the worse afterwards. For starters, losing James and Lily devastated him, and despite Sirius' mistrust, James always valued Remus as a friend, and financially supported him due to the prejudiced nature of many employers on werewolves in the workplace. And this was something that cemented Remus's loyalty to the Potters in return. And although his living standards deteriorated after the deaths, he was always extremely grateful. Remus was also deeply saddened by Peter Pettigrew's death, but more so shocked at Sirius Black's supposed betrayal. Because he knew nothing of the Secret Keeper Switch, the only possible explanation for Lupin was that Sirius Black did indeed betray his friends and kill those innocent people. He refused to go back to his family home after seeing the peaceful life his parents now led, and with no job or lack of self-belief that he could hold down a job, Remus submerged himself into a life of poverty, barely getting by with the use of magic, and even though Wolfsbane Potion was newly invented, the complexity of it and cost of ingredients alone was far beyond Remus's reach, and even if Remus could afford the potion from a store, it would not be without revealing himself as a werewolf. He isolated himself into his own prison, a prison within a derelict cottage in a Yorkshire village. It's here where he spent the majority of the next 10 years. Remus realised just how much he relied on James financially and had hampered him along with practically having no self-worth. He worked very low-key, underpaying jobs, far unworthy of his talent. He kept to himself and almost disappeared completely until Albus Dumbledore tracked him down. Remus, like Sirius, had a long time to process the deaths of the people that he considered family, and in addition to that, his own mother passed away. So Remus suffered further loss while grieving over his friends, and I believe he planned to spend the remainder of his life within the village in Yorkshire. However, taking the teaching position in Hogwarts opened the window back to the world he once knew. It was only through finding love with Nymphadora Tonks that Remus finally moved out of the shadowy aftermath of the life that he had accepted. And that is all for today's video everyone. If you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you feel that my channel deserves your subscription then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and please keep the video suggestions coming as well. Thank you very much again for watching everyone and I hope you all have a great day.